Hey, howdy all. It is Saturday, April 8th. That means bottle 8 of the 25 days. Rolling right along, as you can see. I'm home. That was a little odd for me filming in, uh, you know, my cousin's back deck and her, uh, her sunroom. So, but hey, got them done. Uh, again, I apologize for the delay on, on days four and five. Um, you know, next time I'll just, uh, I just ran out of time trying to get things filmed and get them posted and trying to get up to pick up my grandson and everything and trying to plan a, a camping trip, a family visit, and 25 days of bourbon uh, all at the same time. It was, <laughs> it was my first time for that, and uh, yeah, I apologize. Uh, just uh, dropped the ball on those two days, but a little late, but, the, but we got them. So I uh, hope you guys are enjoying uh, the 25 days so far, especially those of you that have not participated before. Let me know what you guys are thinking so far about it. Ooh. That's a familiar nose, y'all. Familiar. Hmm. Nothing's nothing standing out, so I'm 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 not gonna give you anything on that. Yeah. Nothing, nothing popping for me. So uh, let's just get to tasting, y'all. Chars. <laughs> Little bit of. Uh, spices baking type spices um, and it almost, almost like a, a cherry coming through on this one for some reason which is odd to me only because I know you know what I'm drinking <laughs> so yeah it's good I like it um, just odd that I'm getting cherry on this for some reason. I'm not sure. Not sure why, but, um, let me know what you guys get. And let's talk about bottle eight. The Prideful Goat. Straight rye whiskey. Six years aged. And a 95.5 rye mash bill. Hmm. I wonder where we've heard that before. Oh, oh Yeah. Yeah, MGP. Um, and uh, I, I got to hand it to these guys down in Texas uh, with this company. They are, they don't say MGP, but on the back label it does say from a well-known distillery in Indiana. Uh, and that famous 95.5 rye that MGP puts out, that's always good. Um, like I said, knowing that ahead of time and... And getting uh, a, a bit of cherry on it was was odd for me because I don't think I've ever that I can remember on a MGP rye picking up cherry. Um, so that's that one's different from me, uh, for me rather, not from me. Uh, so this is batch one of the the rye. Last year they went with a I think it was a 15 year Kentucky bourbon. Uh, was the prideful goat released last year and this year it's the 95 5 uh, mgp rye this is bottle 7400 out of batch one i'm not sure how many uh bottles they actually did uh, it also tells on the on the back label that they or on the front label sorry uh they use a char level uh three and a half uh in their barrels and uh you know mgp 
uh, a typical MGP char, uh, distilled in Indiana and bottled in Houston, Texas. Now, uh, as far as their own distillate, if they've, if they're actually distilling, uh, from what I understand, the the company that owns the Prideful Goat, uh, they are set up in a warehouse they bought back in the 1920s, um, and they've been a coffee company uh, pretty much, and now they are distilling in that same same warehouse. Um, I don't know if they've got other products out that is their own distillate, like a vodka or a white dog or, or anything like that. Um, so, so far, as far as the age stuff, they are sourcing. Um, so, but heck, they started out with a 15 year bourbon and now on to a, a, a six year MGP rye. So they're, they're, they're working it. Uh, you know, so, uh, I did not try the bourbon, so I'm not sure, um, on the 15 year bourbon, whether it was a, um, uh, I'm guessing it was batch, so um, I just I just don't have any information on it because I haven't had it. But probably Bardstown Bourbon Company or maybe um, Barton 1792, probably uh, sourced from from one of those. Uh, but I don't know that for sure. I'm just I'm just guessing by the age on it. Uh, those two places seem to have those available for for people to source so um yeah uh i do like this uh seventy dollars uh you know that's about the average for a six-year mgp rye however compared to the new riff last night you know the new riff was a 95.5 rye as well um and also a six-year um and I, th I think it was the same price uh so there's, there's good stuff out there, y'all. Just got to hunt it down. You don't have to pay exorbitant amounts. And that's I mean, that's why I love this so much. And so many people that are active in this all the time love this so much. Is, you know, for the cost of the bottle, you get to try 25. And uh, you're, you're not going to go to a bar even with cheap drinks, well drinks, and be able to get 25 for the, the cost of a bottle. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Again, I hope everybody uh, that is for joining us for the first time is enjoying it. For, for you veterans, <laughs> I hope you're enjoying it as well. Um, we've had uh, a few good things so far out of, uh, out of eight, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll see how the rest of the, uh, the last 17 go starting tomorrow night. So I hope you guys enjoyed Bottle 8, the Prideful Goat Straight Rye Whiskey from MGP, age six years and 95 five rye mash bill so let me know what you think as always you know just uh comment share it that way everybody has some other opinion other than mine <laughs> to look at because guys i'm not a professional i'm just telling you what i get or what i don't get from it and whether i like it or i don't like and all our palettes are different so please uh share your opinion uh there's no right or wrong opinion and uh, people are going to appreciate hearing from other folks. That way, uh, the more people that comment, uh, the easier it is for people to comment and realize that, you know, if they're not getting the same thing from me, it's all right. It's perfectly fine. Um, so just roll those comments, y'all. Really appreciate it. All right, you guys have a great night. See you back tomorrow for day nine. And uh, stay safe out there. It is the weekend, so take care of yourself. Don't drink a drive, but do drink. And as always... Bourbon on guns.